In periods of financial crisis, policymakers around the world have responded in different ways to attempts to revive the economy. Quantitative tightening QT, refers to a strategy where central banks raise interest rates in order to curb inflation while Quantitative easing QE, refers to a policy where central banks print money in an effort to stimulate the economy. Comparison between QT and QE Quantitative tightening QT is the process of selling government securities in order to shrink the money supply. This tightens monetary policy and can be used to cool down an overheating economy or fight inflation. Quantitative easing QE is the process of buying government securities, for example, bonds, in order to increase the money supply. This loosens monetary policy and can be used to stimulate a slowing economy or fight deflation. QT how it works and its benefits. Quantitative tightening, or QT, works by selling off assets from its balance sheet. This shrinks the size of the balance sheet and reduces the money supply. This makes it harder for banks to borrow money and lend to businesses and consumers. QT has several benefits. It can help keep inflation in check, reduce the risk of financial instability, and make it less likely that interest rates will need to be raised rapidly in the future. QE. How it works and its benefits. Quantitative easing QE, is the process of the Fed buying treasury securities and mortgage-backed securities from banks in order to increase the money supply. QE benefits, this helps to stimulate economic growth by making it easier for businesses to borrow money and expand their operations. The main benefit of quantitative easing is that it increases liquidity in the financial system and encourages lending. Which approach is better? QE may help boost growth in the short term, but it can also lead to higher levels of debt and inflation. QT may be less risky in the long run, but it could cause a recession if done too quickly. In conclusion, quantitative tightening is less risky than quantitative easing, but it could still lead to negative consequences. It is important to weigh the risks and benefits of each option before making a decision. For more please visit investingiq.net.